hello there guys and welcome back to the channel so uh dorky diggy dave uh has dropped the professor x deep dive uh on uh marvel concept champions official channel and as always i will try my best to kind of like further gauge my own personal impressions of professor x and uh, evaluate him as a champion and uh, basically we're going to go through deep dive uh, we can try and find some things that are not mentioned some things that are mentioned some things that have changed my opinion about him and we're going to start uh, with the fact that uh, i absolutely love the offensive use of that falter mechanic which kind of like comes in guaranteed you can see that uh you start the fight with 10 second cooldown on that falter mechanic normally it's going to be 20 seconds but basically at any point after that you can just safely do whatever you want <laughs> you can just uh charge your heavy attack you can have a guarantee that you're not going to get punished by an intercept only thing that you do need to worry about is eating a special attack so whilst that falter mechanic is on cooldown professor x is going to be one of the kind of like most forgiving user-friendly champions to use because yeah you can just play risky you can uh, charge your heavy attacks left and right you can try an intercept you can get caught on a dashback it can be whatever opponent's gonna falter and that in addition to his uh channeling mechanic which is extremely important for him is going to be super important to make him much easier to ramp up and that is also going to be extremely important for his ability to counter miss and uh awaits because uh he's gonna be one of the very few champions who pretty much has access to it from the get-go that means that you technically do not have to land a single hit on your opponent in order to prevent them from missing or awaiting your attacks because yeah you can use that falter mechanic to simply charge up your heavy attack channel finish channeling or cancel it out get your bonus charges and uh, jobs are good in. and not to mention that you can also attempt to charge your heavy attacks and uh, do it carefully <laughs> without getting punished i suppose um, but yeah, so that is a definite upside because there are very few champions in this game that have access to 100% evade prevention and 100% miss effect prevention from the very start of the fight. So he will hang in a relatively exclusive club, especially when it comes to a miss effect prevention, which could actually give him immediately just that single ability alone some use in alliance wars uh hopefully i'm right on that but i personally find it uh, extremely valuable especially if his uh, damage accommodates that when it comes to actually using the channeling charges and uh, how you gain your prowess refers them it's easier than it sounds on paper and it's literally quite simple as so long as heavy attacks are involved you gain texture 10 extra bonus charges or while still channeling if you interrupt it by dashing forwards or pressing block you gain a prowess buff or if you interrupt it by just dashing backwards you refresh your prowess so it's kind of block or being aggressive gives you more prowess and dashing backwards kind of re recuperating refreshing your prowess effects and that is going to be extremely important because the damage difference in between uh your special attacks when you do have these promises stacked up or you don't have these promises stacked up is absolutely massive here we can see a four star maxed out without any promise buffs absolutely pitiful damage and then we can see when he is like quite considerably more ramped up uh, he has significantly more damage i know that this is a rank 36 star but still that special two alone there does like uh, easily 100k plus damage Plus, he is able to drop multiples of these special twos kind of like in a very short burst. And the uh, last thing that I did want to talk about uh, was that mind control mechanic. And that mind control mechanic is uh, very good. <laughs> it's very good, very useful. For when it's active, you can just spam your special attacks. You don't have to worry about pushing opponent three bars of power. And you don't have to worry about opponent preventing you from spamming your special attacks uh, 
by launching their own special deck, which is typically one of the biggest weak points of these burst champions, like Namor, for instance, so on and so forth. Uh, so yeah, that is quite huge, that is big. Now, the only kind of downside is that you do not have any way to drain opponent's power in the ability kit uh, that Professor X have. So if you are being a little too aggressive or overextending yourself or not noticing when your mind control does expire, it will certainly uh, be risky <laughs> to eat up a level 3 in the face. Now, uh, from what I saw, it is relatively quick to get his channeling charges up to 100, which is where you want them to be. Mind control is a potent effect. And uh, overall, he definitely does look like he will have some moderate use in endgame content. And here is the real kick up the bum that I had whilst uh, reviewing this champion. He has quite user-friendly mechanics, which is good, which means he'll be relatively easy to play. And he has easy to access, uh, basically, await and miss effect prevention, which is going to be his saving grace if he wants to see a shred of daylight pretty much anywhere. Outside of that, he can be an explosive mutant champion, which we only have 79,000 at this point in Marvel Quest of Champions. He has no immunities and doesn't have much else to offer. So it's going to be more of a case where you are looking for places where you can use Professor X much more than where you should or where he's the best option. Because if you think about it, even the recommended matchups for Professor X were like power reserve or uh, things that increase your power gain or do extra special damage but we already again have so many different champions that do so well on those like powers there any champion with 100 percent stun chance on special one is a power reserve cheese god any champion with massive special attacks already gets abused in power shield nodes for i don't know take goes to power shield and you're gonna have a happy field day and realistically, Professor X is not going to replace any of those champions who are dominant there already. Now, the saving grace for the character as Professor X to be relevant, obviously, will be his synergies. Because those synergies are extremely potent. And I believe those synergies will warrant quite a few videos from me in the future. Where I'm going to kind of try and discuss them uh, more fully and what kind of impact they have. Because they certainly will have impact on mutant class. And other than the synergies, he does not really do anything your mutant champions already wouldn't do better than he does outside of ability to provide miss and effect and await. So here we are. He's a champion. That's cool. But his toolkit certainly isn't a necessity. And in order for his synergies to be busted or powered, you have to be able to use this champion. And there will be many, many situations where you cannot find three fights on the way to a W boss where Professor X would be a viable option. There will be many scenarios where you cannot find three fights on the way to the final quest boss where Professor X is an option. And if you cannot do that, those synergies will not mean too much either. It's kind of like an Aegon problem, for instance, in Act 6. Aegon is a fantastic champion that can, for instance, handle biohazard towards end of the quest, but you cannot bring in Aegon in the first fight without any ramp up and expect him to do well against biohazard. And therefore, that immediately presented a lot of problems for Aegon, in Act 6, because if you start a lane and every single fight is biohazard, Aegon is not a viable option, even though he would be had he been given a chance to ramp up. And Professor X is going to have a similar issue with his synergies, in my opinion. Now, that is not to say they will not be useful. That is definitely not to say there won't be situations where they are extremely helpful. But that is to say they will be far less easily attainable than vast majority of already existing powerful effects in game. So to kind of sum it up, 
the saving grace of Professor X, in my opinion, is that ability to provide miss and await easily. His uh, damage output certainly is good enough to use him in uh, decently competitive or competitive content and endgame content. Should the fights be relatively vanilla, should the fights not have any specific restrictions or requirements at large, because he cannot really handle too much of the crazy noise that we have been seeing in 6.4, 6.3, Alliance Wars, and so forth. And that is kind of like, yeah, the saving grace as I keep referring to it. Because there will be times where you can use him, and there will be times when he's definitely going to contribute. Uh, currently, I look at him much more as I do look at uh, Mr. Fantastic than I do at Nick Fury. Um, Mr. Fantastic might not have as powerful effects and synergies, but he doesn't need the ramp up to activate his synergies. Now, uh, Professor X will need that ramp up, which will not always be there. And uh, yeah, that's definitely going to hold him back. Overall, I do think he's a good character. I'm certainly interested in myself. I just want people to realize that there will be a lot of limitations for abusing powerful Professor X synergies based on his ability set himself. He's going to be quite complex to understand at first. Other than that, I think he's going to be relatively easy to play. But, uh, yeah, where will be the question. Anyways, uh, I think that will do. Let me know what you guys think about Professor X. How do you like his ability kit, tool set, uh, animations? How useful do you think he's going to be? Am I completely crazy and I should be praising him much more? Or you guys agree with me? Either way, drop a comment, hit that like button, hit that sub button, and I'm going to catch you guys soon. See ya.